I started off as a social worker working with children and adolescents and I worked in the department of child and family psychiatry um, and one day somebody came to visit us who was a TA psychotherapist they did a workshop and I was really bowled over about the idea of um, how people have got three ego states parent, adult and child um, and with some of the skills that he taught us on that day I thought wow I could take this back and use this with the families that I work with and I did and it was really effective so it got me to think because at that time as well as working with children and adolescents I was a qualified counsellor and uh, I thought mm, I want to know more about this and that was in the 80s so here I am now working as a psychotherapist and I've become a trainer and I now supervise. Well, every year we, we have conferences, um, TA community and CASA conferences, uh, and that's where I met Bob. Uh, at the time I was living in Norfolk, working as a, a social work manager part-time and a psychotherapist part-time. And then in about 97, I took up a whole practice here uh, and completed my training uh, and here I am. I haven't looked back since then um, and really, really love my work. Uh, I've had 25 years experience as a social worker working with children and adolescents. So that really informed my work for a long, long time. Um, I'm on a teaching programme here now. So um, I teach on the four-year programme, uh, the, the adult psychotherapy four-year module. And I also teach on the child and adolescent psychotherapy programme as well. Um, so I kind of get the best of both worlds, really. Um, we're a community. So anybody coming here will get a, a really good service because we really are very careful about how we select people that come on our training. They have to have a therapy themselves. They have to be in supervision. So ethically, they're very well supported. I think people get to a point in their lives where they're so stuck, they keep going around in the same circle over and over again. And they're so uncomfortable, they can't bear it anymore, they have to do something. Now, some people go to the GP, some people you know, turn to drugs and alcohol. But for the most part, most of us think, you know what, there's got to be something more than this. They come and they get a service that provides them with something that's lasting and they can carry that with them and carry on with their lives happily.